Hi, good afternoon. We're rounding up the Patreon games this month with Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. A uh, contribution here from Shadow, who uh, I think they used to join Bane on the old Pain Pleasure Patreon games thing, but now they've gone for this game, a turn-based, hex-based strategy game. So clearly they've just switched the dial to Pain for me. Now I have played this game a little bit. I did approximately half the tutorial. Uh, to actually learn what I'm doing in the game so I'm not just floundering around a bit. I will be floundering around, that's for sure, but maybe a little less than I could otherwise. Jake, are you playing this with PK? I have no idea what you mean by PK. We're just going to jump right into it with a new game. We'll pick whatever the easiest looking thing here is. Preset scenario, which is, if we go by the level here, which I assume is difficulty, Clash at Guandu. Hmm. Do like anything involving Yuan Shao, that's for sure. Liu Bei, I'm not a fan of Liu Bei. Or there's the rise of Dong Zhuo. Can't go wrong with that, right? Ah, oh, what's going on here? A lot of options here, we're probably just going to ignore all of it and jump right in. don't think I can select anything here. And there's very little I know about this game outside of what I learnt in the tutorials, but let's just go for it. Not starting with the Yellow Turban Rebellion, Jake Harris, and that stuff is boring. It was the year 190. The Han capital of Luoyang had become a den of violence and pillaging. The turmoil did not cease following the Yellow Turban Rebellion, as conflict rose between He Jin and the Ten Eunuchs. As tensions reached their peak in the Imperial Court, it was Dong Zhuo from the West who manipulated After seizing power, Dong Zhuo strengthened his influence by obtaining the services of Lu Bu, the mightiest warrior in all of China. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had fled the capital and issued an edict to various regional lords, instigating a revolt against Dong Zhuo, with Yuan Shao as its leader. Alliance against Dong Zhuo had been established. And Hu Lao Gate became the site of a fateful battle. And thus ends the voice acting from what I can tell. The game has some strange things where it Anything I press on the keyboard is going to kill cutscenes, and clicking off of the game also kills everything. Oh well, we can live with that. So, Cao Cao is saying if we don't do anything about Dong Zhuo, he'll be free to ruin the country, eh? Okay, sure. And then Cao Cao is going to try and build up his alliance against Dong Zhuo, as he does, with mighty Yuan Shao. My favorite character in all Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Of course, I played the Dynasty Warrior games quite a bit. Two, three, a little bit of five, and whatever the latest one uh, was on the PC. Being told to increase the game's audio, and that can certainly be done. Okay, so we're going to crush Yuan Shao and Cao Cao together. Sounds good to me. So in the year 190, the Lords responded to the appeal of Cao Cao and the leadership of Yuan Shao, raised an army to fight against him. Worlds tremble. Okay, so we are playing as Dong Zhuo. I was reading up about the guy, like the real history of the guy. He was just barbaric. 
so they capture him quite fittingly in the games. We should have friendly relations with Gong Sun Du's army and take advantage of their military power. You must remunerate your officers with gold, revenue monthly, yada yada. Wipe out every single commander who is allied against us. Okay. Right, do we have... Yeah, we got WASD movement. Excellent. So, we got a lot of power behind us, hopefully. Have you ever played Sierra's Empire Ra Rise of the Middle Kingdom? I think so. I'd have to refresh myself on what it is, to be sure. Alright, so Tsao Tsao's over here at Shen Liu, and we should probably go and destroy him. We've got a lot of troops stationed over at Hulao Gate. We also have a lot of troops over at Luoyang. We have a certain amount of action points for each turn, and it, uh, as far as I can tell, it uses generals for every action you need to do as well. So you need to manage those resources. I don't know if the gates physically do anything other than house some military. But there's a lot about this game that I don't understand and we're going to be picking up as we go along. Jake, it's Caesar 3 city style builder. No, it is absolutely bloody not. You build buildings on these little squares, I get that much. So I wonder if we should start out by doing that. No, we should start out by crushing Shen Liu since it's right there. So we can deploy the military at Hu Lao, I suppose? If it's Hu Lao Gate, then I must have Lu Bu. Who, although he was uh, pretty strong, they bigged him up quite a lot. So we want to march out our units. Go with cavalry, because why not? He can last for 200 days, however long that is. Maybe I should give him more so that he can actually last a bit longer. Nah, we'll trust with the 200. So out he goes with his cavalry. Sounds great, right? Hop to it, lad. What in the world is he saying? Sounded more like uh, Japanese, but what do I know? And some bows? Nah, I don't, I don't trust Hua Jong. Oh well, he seems like my only, only option here. Ah, oh, we'll send out more cavalry, why not? And the two of you can go and crush our enemies. So hopefully we'll be able to siege down Chen Liu and everything will be fine. Might be worth sending out some extra military to help them out. But do I have anyone that's that good? Zhu Jun with our, uh, with our pikes? Not sure if he'll get there in time. But hey, we can send him out anyway. So that leaves me with not a lot of action points, and I should probably spend some time actually building up my city. I want more money, so we'll make, uh, make ourselves a market. And I would kind of like some more food, so we can make ourselves a farm as well. Now I don't really know how best to budget all your resources this way, but as I said, there's a lot of things that I don't know here. Okay. So those will be built up eventually using some of my troops as resources. I'm out of action points, but hopefully we can go and destroy Chen Liu. And I'm not sure if that's the only place that Cao Cao has. Seems that he has that in Guandu, but nothing else. So I might be able to kick him out of the game if I do this well. Wasn't I also told to establish some diplomacy though? Well, there's nothing much I can do since I don't have the action points. Info, maybe? Some different forces? There's Gong Shun Du, and they're friendly with us. But I don't think many people are going to be friendly with us. Liu Bei hates us, Sun Jian hates us. Wow, there are a lot of people that don't like us. I wonder if I can make Yuan Shao not hostile. Strike up the ultimate alliance with them. That would be awesome. Okay, let's keep going. Not much else to do, so we just advance. Jay Thagnus meant to say Emperor is like Caesar and Pharaoh set in China. Ah, okay, that's what you're getting at. And yeah, I... I don't know, I played some of them. I played Caesar, Pharaoh, and one other game, but I can't remember what the other one was. So, looks like Shao Dun, Yue Jin, Shao Wan, and Cao Ren 
have come out into the play to try and defeat us. But that took away a lot of the units they had at Chen Liu. So if I demolish these folks, which of course I will, uh, we're going to have a lot easier time here. I don't know what good terrain does in this game. This horribly sparse bit of land might be useful for us. It might not. I do not know. Let's make our way over. Now I could lure them out a bit, or maybe I want to actually uh, destroy these guys myself. Now one thing that's annoying is you have to move and attack at the same time, so I can't move people into position, then fight. So what's it going to be? Could use some awesome tactics of mine, although I have no idea what they do. Breach causes great damage while pushing through them to the square on the other side. Maybe that's not what we're looking for. pushes them back, eh? And I can put them onto traps. I know all about traps. And then this charge, which pushes them back two squares, which might be good if I think about this for five seconds. If it pushes them back, it might push them into uh, one of these guys and hurt them. I mean, it might. I can give it a go. Crush them under our hooves. That was not two squares back. I am massively disappointed. But maybe I can charge you into Yue Jin this way. Seems kind of a waste since he's definitely going to die when I do this anyway. Well, we're learning as we go along here. Okay, no, it didn't even push him back. It just obliterated him. Used up a lot of my will as well. So they're now in place to probably get destroyed by these guys, although we far outnumber them. And then otherwise, perhaps I should continue developing. I mean, markets must be good, right? How can they be bad? I can't develop anymore. I'm not sure if that's because I'm out of... Uh out of personnel or not. Okay, so there are eight officers here, and they're all working for me. Ah, fair enough. Liu, Bu ha Liu, Bei has an, uh, Liu Bu has an overpowered trait that makes his basic attack stronger. Well, now I know. There's probably a way to find out more about him. Uh, no tooltips or anything on what Flying General is. Ignore land, zone of control, powerful versus weak unit. If you say so. Alright, let's keep this going. That's what I was looking to do on the other guy. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder how you got to use uh, two moves there. Well, they might think that they have us surrounded, but it's the other way around. Pikes are weak against cavalry, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe Hua Zhong should take him down a notch. Not sure if he'll get that done in one or... What is Annihilate? Continue attacking the target until it is destroyed. Yeah, I guess so, but why don't I just attack you this way? What's the difference? I have no clue whatsoever. Okay, he's almost dead. He'll probably die next time he attacks us. Ha. Alright. Come forth. And there are no free officers here, so I guess we can just keep moving. In what world is Pike weak against cavalry? Well, this world, I think. Pretty sure I read that. I need to stop having my units adjacent like this.
Pikes, strong versus spears, weak versus cavalry. So in your face, naffle. Jake charging pikes is a bad idea with cavalry unless you like horse kebab. Well, who doesn't? Besides, what else am I going to do against them? Uh, he ran away, didn't he? Back to Chen Liu. I need to start putting that place under siege. But first, I got people to kill. And that includes annihilating you. Destroyed. He got plus 100 watt, I have no idea. Now you guys are pikes, those guys are spears. Might be better if you take them on. Maybe we can siege this place down for now. Ugu. Okay, so we take a fair bit of damage doing that. Better keep it in mind. Also, I wonder how we can capture Guandu. Alright, we freed up some officers here so we can continue to develop. Like, I really have no idea what the good of all this development is. There's a lot of different things I can build. Barracks to get more units, smithies to make more equipment, stables, all of that. Maybe what I should probably try to do is get that alliance with... Uh, Yes, Gong Sun Du, as I was told. I'm sure I can handle these orders. Leave them to me, says Liru. Okay. Well, he thinks he can do it. Says it takes 50 days, so go for it. I must explain the adva- Oh, okay. It's clearly uh, too fast for me to pay attention there. Alright, I want Chen Liu. That way I don't need to keep all my people at Hulao Gate, although maybe it would come in handy. And there's all these what look to be neutral areas. Can I just go and take them over? I don't know how it works whatsoever, but we will find out. Doesn't seem to be much else my units can do, although I could probably deploy a bit more from Hulao Gate. We have bows that I could send out, which probably would have been clever a little while back. Wait, I own this? Sweet. I wonder if there's a way to just easily find out everything I own. Wow, I own a lot of land. There's a lot to keep my eyes on, though. Which means Hang Zhong, owned by Zhang Lu, who I don't know, might be handy for us. Oh, they're neutral. What drives a man to neutrality? And then there's Ma Tang up here who's hostile as well. Hmm. So much to care about here. Jake, will you finish kindergarten? Yes, I'll probably finish it after this. Uh, okay, I'm losing my place here. So much to look at. Hmm. Jake, are you aware that it is currently 2.36am Monday morning in Sweden? It is certainly not, so don't be daft. Doesn't seem to be much else to do unless I want to spend my action points developing my other cities. Which, in retrospect, seems like a great idea. Especially with this hostile Wu Wei Ma Tang. Uh, Ma Tang at Wu Wei up there. So I could develop... Well, they both look the same to me. But this one has more officers, so more to develop with. Oh, but I can't develop anything here? I don't understand why. I can't develop either of these. But I can develop Chang'an. That doesn't make sense to me, but I'm sure there's a reason. Oh well, if this is one that I can develop, then so be it. It would be nice to have more people here, so maybe a barracks will do me? Like I have no real idea what the best things to build here are. And I guess a farm would help.
There's the thing, the tutorial told you how to build it, in no way indicated what one should build. So I mean a barracks would probably be pretty handy for getting more units on the go. And then I can recruit more and just go out and kill. Curiously, do we have many people in the chat who have played this game before? Don't know if they can offer much sage advice here. What a cheap shot. But he almost killed himself doing that, which is kind of funny. Ah, uh, just take them out. Otherwise, Shen Liu is going down. Maybe my archers can go and capture what's, uh, well, Guan Du. Okay, so you both went and attacked Chen Liu. I hope this is enough to take it down. Mm hmm. Otherwise, I've got loads of action points without terribly much to do with them. What can I do here? I don't have enough officers over at Liu, uh, Luoyang to do my bidding. Hmm. Well, everybody's busy elsewhere. Unless I'm about to march more troops out, I think this will do. Might as well take it one step at a time. Wait, what the hell did he just do? Cao Cao seems to have confused Lu Bu and made him just bugger off. So I think Cao Cao is about to taste Zhu Jun's bolts. What do I have? Fire, misinform, perturb. I mean, I could confuse him as well. Have target unit return to starting point of march. I guess that's what he did. Hmm. Will not be able to move for several turns. Forgive me for thinking that sounds incredibly overpowered. And their sword units, which are the weakest ones in the game. turn to I could just shoot at him and kill him, but I like the idea of him not getting a turn there and I'd be able to slaughter him. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Oh, what? That didn't affect him. Oh, damn. Alright, well, let's just break on through to the other side. Which we, for some reason, didn't do. Hmm. Well, whatever you say, game. There seems to have been a change in the way Liu Yan's army looks at our force. Who is even Liu Yan? Okay, Lu Bu just ran one hell of a long way away. And I still can't control him, which is really quite odd. Alright, well, I'll just shoot the guy. Wait, shoot him? Well, of course, these aren't my bowmen. Did I even ever have bowmen? Now oh, I'm confusing myself. Well, nothing new there. Let's just uh, slaughter the guy. What do you make of that, Sao Tzu? And now there's very few people left in uh, Shen Liu. Wonderful news for me, probably. Now I can recruit more at Chang'an, but that's not a lot of units. Could also inspect a place to get more order, which is probably pretty good. But I don't know, I, I like having even more. We've got to play the Dongzhou way and make more. Farm, barracks, marketplace. Now one thing that I haven't been paying attention to at all is the technique points. We already start off with drill cavalry, which makes our cavalry even better. 
Why have them better when we can have them even better? It takes a lot of TP for that. So who is that guy that looks differently at us? He said his name in green, but I don't know what that's what that's meaning whatsoever. Well, why worry about it? Cao Cao just needs to die. Kill him. Good lord. He didn't do so well there, did he? Mm, taking almost as many losses as we're putting to them, but that's okay. Blue Boo, maybe you can take Guandu. If indeed that's how it even works, I have no idea. Okay, market's looking fine. Those farms are building up. So is our barracks. The order around here is pretty good, but it could always be better, right? So let's have some inspections and bring it up. With Dong Zhuo doing the inspections, you'd be surprised that the order even goes up. Gives us some TP at least. Okay, what's this? Ah, it's Li Ru of Dong Zhuo's army. You must be tired after your long journey, what can I do for you? I'll come right to the point, would you ally with us? An alliance? Hmm? So easily sorted. His head held high instead of on a plate. So we're in a, an alliance with Gong Sun Du, whoever that is, wherever he is. I mean, I'd like to know, but I have no clue. Where is Gong Sun? What's it? Huh, the map looks a lot nicer without the squares. It's an opinion I've said many times, but I really cannot stand hex-based systems, and that's exactly what this is. I know they look like squares, but if every square has six adjacencies, then it's a hex-based system. But that's just me being all bah humbug. Still though, where in the world is this Gong Sun chap? Forces. G -g -g Gong Sun Du. <laughs> what? It's all the way over there? Okay. Well, I ask one thing of you then. Maybe I'm losing my bearings again. Okay, right, this map is tilted. Why? Why would it do that? Okay, you're over there. You're kind of small ish. I mean, you wouldn't be able to take this from Gong Shun Zhan, but maybe they would want to ally us. And there's the mighty Yuan Shao. He's developing pretty hard, and I'm not sure I want to go and destroy him. I love Yuan Shao in all of his iterations. Alright, getting too sentimental here. Can I... Wait, you have to attack that as well? Well, take it. few broad strokes, otherwise Shen Liu is going down. Alright, it should be ours next turn. Capped on action points. Plenty of officers to do what I want with, so we should keep developing. This is our main place after all. Now, mints make all neighboring markets one and a half times effective. As soon as we have three markets, it's worth our time building one of those instead. And I guess this is where the squares, uh, the squares or hex system works into its own a bit better, since the adjacencies will work well that way. Still, develop and develop fast. Same could be done with granaries and farms. <laughs> Dongjo himself building a farm. Madman. Okay, with nothing else to worry about, I guess we will be taking Shen Liu now. Oh, 
Well, I sure hope so. Because our troops are getting obliterated here. And they have a fireworks party for us arriving. Alright, so hopefully that eliminates Cao Cao. I'm not sure if it does. Oh, okay. Here is Cao Cao. King of Wei proved his military ability as a commander of cavalry in the suppression of the Yellow Turbans. After Dong Zhuo's death, wandered the land, helped build up, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if he would join our employ. How does this work? Whoa, we've got a lot of officers to think about here. I have no idea how this works. Or maybe I could just kill him. How does this... What am I meant to do here? Am I meant to try to employ him? Prisoners cost 50 gold a month, so maybe I shouldn't uh, keep many prisoners. Mm, feels bad to execute such a great man. Because he really is great. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. So if I try to employ Cao Cao, what does it say? Are you mocking me? I will never serve you. Okay. Well then I guess you die. I have nothing to say. You just kill me and be done with it. Okay, and then we move over to these other guys. He advised you on Shao and Wang Zhe. Okay. So I choose who, who I make prisoner, who I release, who I employ. Why don't I just execute everybody? I really like Cheng Gong. He should switch to our side. Not interested, okay. I mean, who would be employed by me? Why do you not just try to employ everybody? I'll try a bunch of them. Okay, so really I think nobody wants to be my, uh, well none of these guys at least want to be in my, uh, my servitude. Hmm. So Ren, you saw what happened to everyone else. No. Well, off you go. Well, let's just try and employ everybody. Heavens knows why I'd even, uh, Gives you all this to go through. Absolutely nobody. Well, everybody dies. Dion Wei is awesome, though. I mean, really awesome. You. You're gonna be my. Well, no, we're gonna release you. You're a nice guy. Tragic. I think throwing people in prison allows you to keep trying to employ them. Hmm. I don't see any gold amount on my screen anywhere, so maybe it's all just regional. Oh, and we got loads of technical points or technique points from taking this over. But it's now really quite barren, and it seems to have destroyed everything that they were building, which is a damn shame. What we should do is get in there and heal up. But there's no turns that can be done here. I need more officers, and I need them pretty badly. Maybe I should have uh, grabbed as many as I could. Well, what can you do? Hang on, if I recall well from the tutorial, there is a way to find more of them. Tell me about the summoning. Calls forth officer from another allied base. The further away, the longer it takes. Okay, but I thought there was a way to get ones. Yes, yeah, search. Search for free officers in the area. If you're able to convince the officers that you find them, join your forces. You may sometimes find money or other items. Okay, well, I want to search. Don't know why I couldn't there, probably because I had nobody to do it, and I certainly won't here either. We'll get other people... Hold on, do I own Guandu now? 
I mean, there's no real need to take it. I don't even know what it'll do. Well, you know what? Occupy it so we can figure that part out. Well, ours now. I'll take it. Question is where we go from here. Taking Chu Chang seems like a good idea. Because these are... Kongzhou people? Tell me more about them. Hostile with us. Well, for that, they have to die. So we should probably march our way south, take that as a holding point, and then carry on. These guys still have plenty of food, but very little will, so they need to get back to Chen Lu, get it back, and everything else. It feels like having Hu Lao Gate here is just working against us. We should take all of our bowmen and just march. Or, better yet, drill them up a bit so that they're ready to go. And then they can converge with the other units and march down to Chu Chang. Nice. Seems like a plan, it's what we'll go with. I hope Gong Shun Watsits is doing his best up there. Doesn't seem to be building much. A single barracks, it seems. Mm, I worry for them. Oh my, did I just do what I think I did? By pressing home, I centered the map this way. And now I'm all kinds of confused. <laughs> okay, I feel like I've learned a lot now. This game doesn't allow for diagonal movement for some reason. Okay, still though, where in the world is my uh, my everything? There's Hulao. There we go. Back to something recognizable. Overlist comes in and says, good morning. Yes, it is indeed. Happy Sunday. Alright, nothing else for it. Let's advance on. Drowning in action points, thankfully. Uh, Hua Zhong, get in there. And I think this city needs to be developed. I'm not sure what it needs though. Food, farms, people? Probably people. Probably, definitely people. Will is really low, troops are low, no facilities. But I don't know how much food we need. I really don't know. I don't know how slow paced you're meant to take this either. Do I stop there, turtle down, build up and move out? That seems so slow. And I have tons of units over at uh, Luoyang that don't seem to be in any particular... Uh, well, they don't seem to be having any particular difficulty. I can move them over to Hulao. Or just generally move them over to Shen Liu. I feel like I'm wasting my time if I don't do anything, though. Dong Zhou, we have captured Liang Gang, who is plotting to spread rumors inside Tian Shui. Mm -hmm. Being told to try moving the, uh, the chat to the top right so we can see the menu map, we can certainly do that. Whilst we ponder our next move. Whilst I ponder any move. I mean, I've built up all these markets, but it seems it just gives me money here. Uh, where are we looking? Revenue, 1554. Harvest, 8559. What am I meant to do with that information? Food is needed for getting those units out there, but what else? Maybe we should just send some units down to Ju Chang and just take it by force, and then move my way up to Ru Watsits. So we can get Lu Bu back out there, although he has no gold and not a lot of food. 
And then Guan Du ends up without any food. I have no idea what, uh, what difference that'll make for anything. Guess if we went back here, we'd be able to get loads of food. How much food do you have? Or is that not at all how you work? No, I see you got food there. I just don't know where you get it from. You have all those units there. How do they eat? have much in the way of cavalry. It's tempting to march everybody back and get them up to full strength at Liu Yang, but I could go over to Zhu Chang, take it over, develop that, and then use it as a staging point to attack Runan. Get them out of my hair. So that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't think I'll need many people to do so. Get out there, Lu Bu. And I want to keep some defense here. All cavalry, all the time. You just uh, hold this place down. Although, if I can get you out there searching for someone, it might be helpful. I didn't run into off any officers, but I did find some gold. I'll take it. So we'll march our bowmen down here as well. You're going to take all the food from Hulao Gate? Don't bother me. As long as there's food over here, there is not. It's kind of funny in its own way. What am I meant to do with all the gold I'm getting, though? Build a smith so I can get some more uh, more everything. Hold on. Maybe it's stables that I'll want because I want those war horses as well. Sid is saying, if I get Bane to un-Patreon, does that mean there's a slot open? I should really speak to Bane. I don't see enough of him. But I guess so. So I don't know what happens when my units starve. Probably the will goes absolutely down to zero. We just need to go over and take Zhu Chang, if at all possible. It'd be funny if I get there and I find that I can't attack it for whatever reason. Then my units are just going to starve. It'll be a learning experience for all. So can I search for more officers? I want to. Hello, Zhang Ji. You look kind of all political and all that and useless at fighting. An officer of Wei, he defended Chang'an along with Sha Ho Wan. According to historical records, he later became the protector of Yong. Yeah, come and join me. Oh, he doesn't want to. Try to persuade through a debate. Uh, we seem a lot more intelligent than him, so let's have a debate. Now, I've seen this once before, it's really stupid. Shall we begin? Uh, these look like some pretty good cards. So up here is the thing, and you have to play cards that are the same as the thing. Or you get these wild card ones that somehow derail it. So I've got a time two, unless he has a time three, this should win it out for us. He does not. And you just say stupid things. So now I don't have anything to play that's of the time type, but since he didn't... No, he had a time one, didn't he? 
I can repeat what the opponent says and confuse the issue using my sophistry. Did that word come from your lips or your tongue? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh yeah, bringing him down. Now we look down on him, and because it's a logic round, we can play our logic cards. May as well start with our strongest. Why hold back? Glad we did, because he had a logic two up his sleeve. But we're still in the logic round, so more logic. Stand off there. Another logic. More standing off. He's getting really angry. I have no idea what high anger does. Well, attack power temporarily increases when furious. Can renew every turn. Block opponent's guile. Alright, it's logic time. I have no logic, so I'm probably going to renew what I have. Slow down. Gotta think. And that gives us a logic too. Or we could ignore what he says. But we'll play to our strength of logic here. Okay, he's really angry. <laughs> okay. Let's finish him off. Oh no, he ignored us well. What a guy. So he uses Guile. Can't I ignore his Guile? I don't know what Guile does. We should try and ignore it though. Oh, he's getting angrier. He's trying to bellow, but that's fine. We can logic him out. And time for the final push. You rule with logic. Something, something. It's also fast. Should we push on or have some mercy? Ah, he's so angry. Mercy won't do him any favors. Let's crush him. <laughs> okay, so we've we've killed him as we were trying to employ him. That was so, so stupid. And by our rock pillar fight, we have successfully employed Zhang Ji. Jeez. <laughs> the honor. The honor is all mine. But really, I, I need more people. Can we search for more? Hua Jin would be perfect for these orders, you say. What makes you think that? Great politics, I guess, but his charisma is utter arse. Well, if you say so, strategist. Fujun seems useless at most things, but uh, he's young at least. Because of my lack of ability, I was able to hire Fujun. Well, kill yourself then. Wait, what, why is Zhang Liao all the way over here? He should be out doing virtually anything else. Alright, somebody else that seems pretty useless at most things, although good fighter, I'll take that. Good with pikes, kind of. Alright, we could crush him with our superior intelligence, so let's give that a go. Do be gentle with me, please. <laughs> We're actually mentally clashing against a retard using one of the greatest fighters of the Three Kingdoms period. Okay, well, down you go. Still on time here. We don't have much to play, so we'll play our weakest. Pitiful damage he does against us. Alright, it's fact time. Glad we saved our stronger facts. Now we're just clashing off against each other here. He tries to hit me with logic during the fact phase. Let's bring him down. Still fact time, so we can ignore whatever he says. <laughs> oh, but he's getting pretty angry. Still on fact time, though. Oh, 
Oh, he's, he's getting some good luck, is our silly man here. But now we're really angry. Let's put that to use. Still on time phase, how can this be? Get out of my face! Aye. It's bringing us down to hell here, but finally it's logic time. Water flows downhill. Everyone knows th <laughs> this is rubbish. Alright, time to bring him down. You just don't understand logic. Let's see what Mercy does. It all comes down to luck. Yes, it does. So stupid. And he still got weakened, so what was even the point of all that? Well, he's still coming to help us, so I can't complain all that much. We got ourselves a market, a barracks. I wonder if I should be... Hmm, what should I be doing? The order here is pretty low, so I'd probably be useful to do some inspections. Bring it up. We've done our marching, so let's advance. So how's things going over in Chen Liu? Other than the fact that you've built nothing. So you can't actually recruit anybody to uh, bolster the city. What we should probably do is develop it a bit more then. I don't know if we need any food whatsoever. I, I don't understand it. Do units inside these areas need food? We need a lot of stuff, and if Chen Liu is to be a great place, we will have to start developing. Well, let's get a barracks at the very at the very least. high seems to have a very good effect or I could recruit more units not a lot of them though get inspecting okay plenty of officers here in Chang'an now which we can put to use got a market got a barracks is that all I have harvest seems pretty low no, I do have a farm somewhere. Oh, there. Huge fan of cavalry. Maybe I should get another stable. Just not sure what the right things to build are whatsoever. Can't go wrong with a smith, though. And you also can't go wrong with loads of food and loads of money. As long as nobody destroys my precious home. Done, done, and you guys have already marched. So I played a game, Dynasty Tactics. It was really bad. Just all so basic, and it, it was square-based rather than hex-based, as I recall. But there were so many ridiculous things that you could do where you'd be on one side of the map. So let's say we have a unit here. You could have an enemy unit here, and you would use a uh, an ability called Dig, where you dig a hole in front of you, then you slap your arses to intimidate these guys to charge all the way across the map and fall into your pit. And it was all about chaining these, so they'd be a uh, they'd fall into the pit now, and then you have somebody do a charge attack here, and then a fire arrow attack on them, and then just charge in from the rear and demolish them. So you, from the enemy's point of view, they went from having a full unit right here in their ranks to having them charge over there and get 
completely decimated. It just felt so stupid. But stupid is what the uh, Dynasty Warrior series thrives on, so I guess we can't berate it too hard, can we? I should bring up the will of our units. I don't know if that falls over time or not. Is there anybody I can even try to employ here? How does this work? So there are free people that are hanging around. This guy looks pretty awesome. There isn't anyone who could carry these all orders out. Well, we've got Li Ru, right? You could do it. He's probably telling me that he can't do it, so never mind that. Could always reward people. Probably reward people whose loyalty is waning. Or I could reward any everyone, why don't I? I have no idea what good that did. Personnel, required action points, five times number of people, required gold a hundred times. Give gold to an officer to raise his loyalty, make it less likely for him to betray you. Can be executed once per officer per turn, da da da. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's carry on. Alright, so can we just stroll on in and take this? Alright, so neutral places are like um, barbarian villages in tribal wars. Just take them. Doesn't seem to be a downside to it. Like Shang Yong, if I had that, then I would have... Well, there's a lot of things I'd have. I'd have Wan and a pincer movement. And I'd have a great place to stage an attack on Hang Zhong here, but these guys are neutral, so why bother? Why indeed bother? Still, Wan has to go down, and it has a lot more units than Shen Liu ever did. If indeed that's where I want to go. Yeah, you guys are hostile. Why the hostilities, guys? Kinda want Shin Ye, though. There's a lot of things I want. Alright, so with that I got four people here. We could make some food so we can give our units plenty of food to eat as they go out there. So I probably want a food, a barracks, and a horse's place. Then they can rest up and march out towards wherever, I don't know. Or I could make a whole bunch of armies to go and take one. Many options. But I think Runan has to go down. Now I could take Zhu Rong on his own without Li Ru there. And he can take a whole load of food with him. And I don't know, oh yeah, gold is for building things. I mean, we have a ton of gold here, why not take a bunch of that as well? And then stash that over with everybody else. So as long as you get over to here, then you'll really help bolster the forces for attacking. Although maybe I should build something else as well. Like some siege equipment would probably help, but never mind that. Ah, some spears. Okay, never mind that. Everyone sucks with spears. Yeah, I'm sure that 10,000 with all these other guys that I'm surely going to bring back up to scratch will be fine. 
if we can ever develop here. There's almost nothing here in Shenlu. One officer and he's already working himself to the bone. Right, so... What do I want out of you guys? More pikes, I guess. We can get a load of, load of pikes if everybody puts their back into it. Or I can work on my war horses. I do like my war horses. Smith is going up. Farm, farm. We're working on the stable, but for now we will outfit ourselves with more pikes. Now we'll be able to churn out loads of units from Liu Yang to back up over here. Sounds good. So you are, I think, automatically going to make your way over to Chu Chang, hopefully, maybe? I don't even know. What do we do with you, though, Zhu Chang? could just develop you. I could uh, drill my units who are horrifically under-drilled, but it looks like they're getting the will back. Seems like they're slowly getting it back. It's 68 out of not much. Order seems okay here. Well, uh, you know what? Let's develop a barracks so we can actually get some units. We're importing food, which seems okay. And stable for more war horses. Lubu building a stable. Come on. They must really be short-handed if they're asking me to help with development. Come on, everybody's doing it, man. They're still working slowly on that barracks there. I think it's because I only put one person on it. Good to have loads of weapons, probably. Chang An is sitting around with a barracks, a smith. A um, couple of markets being built, and we have a couple of farms, so I can probably raise an army here at Chang An to go and take on. No, no, that's that's my place. And there are free officers over at An Ding. It's kind of annoying having multiple places to uh, to govern. Oh, yeah, but I can't build in them. Hold on, but they are building. What does it mean? Put districts with cities under AI control. District is both a term and a base command. District is a term. A district is an organizational unit within a force. A Viceroy rules multiple cities. The number one district is ruled by the Sovereign, who functions as Viceroy, da 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 da. So does that just mean that it's being governed by the AI? I think you can establish a district with cities if you don't want to micro yourself. Well, it seems like they're uh, making that. They're marketing up here. That seems kind of useful. That seems kind of really useful. And since all I want is for uh, Shen Liu to not die, then I could probably... Probably... District you? Creates a new district, a viceroy, da da da, da da da. Establish number three, yes. Shin Liu, yes. You're an alright guy, you can have it. And the policy is. auto, I guess. Yeah, just do whatever. Leave number three to me. Okay, so now Shen Liu is just going to look after itself. Awesome. That actually is pretty awesome. So, I mean, what about these places? Huh, I can add the gates to districts as well.
So this must be everything we have. Lots of hostiles out there. Interesting. I kind of like having Chang An to uh, to somewhat govern here, though. I can head along these mountains and oh, why don't I just take Shang Yong? Ah, too much to handle at this point. I want to build up my forces and then destroy Runan. We should keep our keep our focus on that. Lubu's building up that stable. Get to it, man. free over in Shang'an. What am I meant to be doing here? Smiths, barracks, but the... wasn't I building a stable here? Or did I imagine that? Would not be the first time. Won't be the last. No, just regular smithies. And we're very low on armaments here, so if I built a lot of pikes, for example, and that would not build many of them, but it would build some. Oh, we could just go for loads of crossbows. I do like crossbows. Otherwise, we boost that stability, and all is fairly well there in Cheng An. Gotta say, I initially had my misgivings to this game, but it looks pretty good. Surprisingly good. Of course, in spite of it being turn based, hex based, yada yada. Wan. Wan and Runan both need to fall, but I think it's Wan that goes down. Who is even at Wu Gate? There's nobody there. So I can't even march the units that are here. Hmm. Sure. Keep on sure. moving. Seems to be a lot about building up. The barracks and smith are up, but these stables take forever. Dong Zhuo would never say to somebody, don't push yourself too hard. What are you trying to pull here, game? Could use all my powers here to actually get something up here. Veteran troops. Hang on, doesn't seem like I can select anything despite. Or was it under here? Research. That's more like it. So, yes, I can research, but it takes some time. Build juggernauts. Hmm, hit points recovered each turn increase. What? I mean, I'd rather just have even better cavalry. Seems like a good thing to do. So we'll save up for 2000 TP, I think. Do you play Total War games? I played some Total War 2 and. Sh uh, no, Empires 2 and Shogun 2. I mean, the battles are kind of impressive when it doesn't feel like they're bugging out like mad. 
But there's this horrible disconnect I always feel in turn-based games. And I'm not just saying this because of paradox here, but I mean, you play many games and it's action, reaction. Whereas in turn-based games, it's action, reaction. And I, I don't like that disconnect. When you're fighting somebody, you don't punch them and then wait for them to punch you back. If I had to give an example. Okay, so Ju Chang kitted you out with five officers. We'll have the barracks, the stable. We'll be able to get more units, get more horses. Uh, the food actually seems really high here because I ditched about 400 days worth of food in it. And then we can crush Wan, I guess. Lu Yang might be able to send out some more units to circle back around Wan too, so that would be an idea. If I were to march out, what would I be using? I mean, cavalry is always nice, but maybe we should look to something we can actually have plenty of. Dong Zhuo himself can send out the pikemen. Or the spearmen, I mean, what do I know? Just wish we had more cavalry. Now oh, this tells me we actually need to build more uh, more items here. So we need to outfit ourselves with more and more. What I should actually be looking at for half a second here is... Wait, search? No, I want to see who I have here. There should be, ah yes, aptitude. Chao Jing is pretty good with bows. Dong Zhou is surprisingly good with cavalry. Cities receive gold each turn. Oh, okay. Ah, but Lu Ji, despite not being very warlike, whatever war does, is excellent with bows. So maybe I can have uh my Cao Jing even has a quiver on his back. We need to get those bows out there then. But I have just been outfitting with pikes, so maybe I shouldn't go against that. Ah wheel, what do I know? What to be done here? the building up of units here. Pretty good. I just can't get my head around the food and the money situation. So I build a farm. Great. It gives me... What? Harvest that goes into the total food pile? So I have food and gold sitting in Chang'an. And a different amount of food and gold sitting over in Luoyan. And if I want to move it around, I just move units with it all. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I continue to guess. Honorable Dong Zhou, Wang Yun has something to discuss. This better not be another debate. You have something you wish to discuss? I have an acquaintance named Zhao Fan, a person of great talent who I feel would be of service to us. Ah, why not? I need more people. Not seeing the weakness in having loads of officers. Oh boy, I knew we needed more of this excitement. He's a bit of a dimwit, but we'll be okay. So we got to fact things straight away, and wow, we do not get a lot of anything here. We need to renew our thoughts. Unfortunate. And he does have fact, I just don't know the power, so we might as well lay down one of our weaker cards. I 
It's another fact time, but we know that... Oh, we know he doesn't have fact, so we can play our fact. Or not. Oh, he's drawing all the facts, but we have more facts. And even more facts. On your knees, Zhao Fan. Oh, we're still in the fact phase, though. But he doesn't have fact, so I could lay down some heavy logic. Damn. These fact times are lasting a long time. Let's just ignore him for a while. But that made him mad. Made him really mad. Just in time for us to lay our own fact bomb down. But he has bigger, better facts. Even his logic is stronger than mine. Wow, he's, uh, he's slapping me around, this dim-witted guy. But now we're in the logic phase and I just used my logic, so let's try and out-time him. How will this here's little harvest be? What is this nonsense? Alright, temper tantrum time. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to drive him into the ground now. From now on, you'll be known as your fanny. Okay, what nonsense was that? You better be really good. How can I find him though? Yes. There we go, Jafan. Oh lord, he's awful. <laughs> okay. He has no skills, no ties. He's just a bit rubbish in every way. Hmm. Vistar says, I liked when he used facts during his tantrum and he said something like, <laughs> It's kind of funny, but it's so stupid. Okay, so he's he's part of us now, right? We still don't have anything erected here in Juchang. Uh, the order is dropping, but I think the will I think the will has been normalizing, to a degree at least. So we should do some inspections to make everything a bit better at least. Everywhere else is just taking care of itself, right? Liu Yang, you've got all the marketplaces. You got the smithy. I've been outfitting with pikes like a madman. Well, time to get even madder. And then there's you. Got these marketplaces going, but. We've been outfitting with tons of crossbows, and I got no problem with that. I would do well to up the order here next time I can, though, and certainly the will of my units. We need to do some drilling next time. Could you send him off to some forgotten city so he could be somewhat useful, Jake? Maybe. I mean, what do I do? Move... Uh, Mr. Fanny, where does he go to? Oh, 
man. You know what would really help? A map. Ugh. Yes, if you go here. <laughs> he just sounds like he's running. Alright, is he there yet or does that take a while? No, he ain't there yet. looking okay-ish. Soon we're just going to start marching our units down to take one. How hard could it be? Although Zhuchang certainly needs its buildings finished so I can actually outfit them. So we need the barracks and the stable complete there. I mean, we're drowning in gold here, I just don't know what's best to do with the gold. I mean, could always just give loads of people more gold. Bring that loyalty up. Don't know why Jin Zhuan's not a big fan of us. Maybe I never will understand. Okay, one could almost think that we have enough crossbows by now. What should I do with all these people? Do we start the march towards Wan? I mean, these guys are certainly not ready yet. But they can hold out at Wu Gate. They don't have to hang around Chang'an forever. Oh, the will is really bad, actually. We should be drilling our people. That's better. is up. Yeah, we're not looking too bad with the horses. We've got 24,000 of them and tons of crossbows. We could just march out with our bows and uh, horses without bu uh, building too much here. Maybe we are ready to rock and roll. Alright, next turn I think we will. Spend this turn drilling your units so they're the best they can be. All this ordering and, uh, well, inspections and stuff seem kind of micro-y. Alright, this is, I should pay more attention to this, I do have quick access to what we have around here. But always a severe lack of stables, and I want to change... No, we have a stables, okay. Then we're getting some war horses, please. And why not, more pikes. Jake, what is your favourite simulation game as why is it Airport Simulator 2014? Because it's, uh, it's a simulator game where you truly make your own fun, because the game certainly isn't going to help you with that. Alright, so if we begin our march, and there's no good reason not to. Hold on, isn't Lubu here? Oh, damn, Lubu's still working on that stable. Jesus, he's on that for a while, isn't he? Well, take this opportunity to drill yourself to Supermax and inspect that city. 
It's a longer way to go from here. I like got about twice as far, so maybe we should begin our march. With all these bows that we got. Is Zhang Liao actually any good with bows? It's much better with pikes. But we don't have pikes. I mean, I could give him the maximum amount of swords. How does this work, though? He can only command 5,000, whereas Dong Min can have loads. What if I switch them? Can I have Zhang Liao and then have uh, Dong Min as a deputy? No, I think the one that can hold the most keeps everybody. Okay. Okay, I think I understand. He understands nothing. He's just so bad at everything. You are so good with cavalry. I see. I see a lot of reason for actually having you march with those. All right. So if we get Dong Min out there, even though he's a bit rubbish with them, he can bring all of our bows. Tons of them. And then there's Lu Bu struggling to build that poor stable. Mao says, will you keep streaming any of these games that you've tried, Jake? That's a difficult one, because time is always a limiting factor. And my vacation ends tomorrow. As in, I'm back to work in uh, less than 24 hours. So there's no easy answer to that. Because when I really like something, I do want to keep playing it. And that's the golden rule, always do what you enjoy in these streams. Alright, what's going on here? We have extensively drilled units. The city itself has been inspected pretty well. Could always be done better, of course. We captured Han Yin. He was plotting to spread some u rumors. The bastard. Does that mean we have him in a dungeon or something? I guess not. Request surrender. Could try to get some goodwill with people. Liu Bao is neutral. Zhang Lu is neutral. Might be good to get some allies. Because I don't know who these people are or where they are. But there were some filthy neutral people around here, weren't there? Yeah, I mean, Zhang Lu is neutral. Why don't we try some diplomacy with him? Saves me having to worry about burning down Han Zhong. What was his name again? Zhang Lu. get to it. Alright, Juan, your days are numbered. Lu Bu is just about finished building his stupid stable.
So we march. Naturally, Lubu with his many, many uh, horses are going out there. Kind of cool. Uh, what else do we have? We have a lot more horses. So there's no good reason not to put Hua Zhong out there as well. Oh, we're going to have you surrounded now, Wan. Get into Wu Gate. I mean, I don't know how it works with the food. It's in the prefect of Dongmin, which is what exactly? I don't know, but it has a certain amount of food. Maybe I should write it down and pay attention to it next uh, next turn. Three, four, oh, two, seven. Food is that going to go up or down? Otherwise, these guys are moving out. I'm glad I put these other places under uh, AI rule, so I don't have to worry about them. But I do want you to outfit yourself with more horses, because that's the policy around here. Production of horses, and they breed fast. Who cares about order? What a pain in the... Dot, dot, dot. I could always develop this place a bit better. Workshop to make some rams might be handy. Food and gold look good, but maybe we could have even more. If I build a mint here, these markets are each going to be one and a half times as effective, so it'd be building uh, like one and a half of them. I haven't been paying much attention to Chang An, have I? Kind of the same story there, but maybe I should put it under AI control so I don't have to keep uh, keep dealing with it. We already took out its great officers. Probably. Hmm, Kaohsiun is a really pretty strong guy with horses, it seems. Well, I don't want to have to keep worrying about it, because otherwise I'm definitely just going to forget about it, so... Sovereign District... Sure. It's a shame you can't name it, it just seems so lame. Oh Christ, what's it called again? Chong An. And are, look at this inept guy. I don't really think he's... Wait, he would be the Viceroy? That seems awful. Oh well, just do whatever you feel comes right. Food will go down every turn. Collects some at beginning of each month. Can see if there's a deficit by right-clicking on the gate and detailed info. Okay. Ah, it's Wang Yun. You must be tired. What can I do? I have come to strengthen our relations. Won't you please accept our gift of a thousand gold? Hmm. Uh, who would not accept one thousand gold? Ah, but he's become friendly. Nice. We could uh, potentially ally this fellow, if I can remember who he, who he was. Unfortunately, there isn't anyone who carry these orders out. What are you talking about? There's you with loads of money. And this is a lot of money to get an alliance. I mean, we got money to spare, right? We make tons here. Get to it. Uh, but in addition to that, 
We're probably going to need more money, so let's build a mint right there. Yeah, we really drained the coffers on that one. We've got more money over in Chang'an. And they do not have money over here, but damn, have they got farms. Smith Stable. Wanshu's going to have to die here. Alright, we move out and destroy. I hope he doesn't have an army entirely comprised of uh, spears, or else I'm going to feel stupid. So the amount of food here is now 35052. So it went up. Harvest, use, food sufficient, yes. Gold sufficient, yes. I understand nothing. Oh well, let's not worry about it. Let's instead... What? Huh, this, this looks a little different. Why can Zhang Liao take a lot more horses than crossbows? He has a command of 5,000. And I sent him in there, I'm pretty sure, with 5,000 horses. And now I'm just confused. Oh well, maybe he can take a lot more horses. What is this? Okay, right, he needs the troops as well. I have no clue what this is meant to be. Why can't he just take the normal amount? Wish I'd never stuck him in Wu Gate now, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I, if I had to guess, there were already 3,000 horses in Wu Gate. So let's get you with your 5,000 horses or whatever closest we can get. Your 5,000 troops or as closest we can get. And then a bit of gold because that always comes in handy every now and then. And maybe a bit more food. I don't know how long this is going to take. And then I. Wait, what? How does this work? I just want my units. Okay, so from what I can tell, it's because this is part of the district, right? So... If I dissolve you... No, that didn't seem to work. sense to me. And apparently this is part of District 4, right? It says 4 on it. And yeah, I gave you Chang on, but What's going on? How do I get my units out of Wu Gate? Okay, so maybe it will be like that, where I have to transport them elsewhere. Somewhere that I can move them out from. Which is a bit of a pain. 
Or I can dissolve number four because it seems to include you guys, all of you guys. So now I should be able to march you with all your guys. Or maybe a bit more out here. Alright, we got there in the end. Didn't I put a lot of other people there as well? But apparently there's no one else to mark. Oh god, there were... Since it was under district, it pulled the other guy. One of you guys, and I have no idea who. I think it was Dong Min, because he can have loads of people. But now all the items are tied up over there. So instead... Personnel summon Dong Min... over there. But he's probably going to take a while to get there. Oh well, so be it. I think we've figured it out. And now I have to control this city for a while, which is another pain. But what you going to do? Okay, he understands he's under threat and he's rolling out the big guns now. Zhang Liao is dangerously close to just getting whipped there. Since we're looking at 5, 12, okay. Many thousands. However, now Wang is, uh, or Wan rather, is looking a little undefended. When in doubt, take the back door. You know, horses and mountains work pretty well together. And now I can march all these many, uh, many bows that we're not that great with. Wow, there was not a lot of food to go around. It's okay, Wu doesn't need food. Or at least Wu Gate doesn't need food. Uh, hmm. Not in range there, sadly. some strategies you can use. You could go there and set a lot of fires. Spears, spears, and spears. Remember when I said I hope their army isn't entirely made of spears? Who are gonna crush my cavalry? You are cavalry, right? Why are they swords? Why are they swords and not cavalry? I'm a little frightened. Okay, why are you guys swords as well? Okay, uh, uh, that's a little dangerous because swords are pretty worthless. Get inside that gate. I have no idea how that works, but get inside. Oh, and now I wish you hadn't moved out, because you're going to get slaughtered. Oh well, it's all about learning, right? Probably going to desperately need some backup if I have anything I can send out. Yeah, you got 8,000 horses there. I could have sworn I told you to get out with them. And all these spears are going to be troublesome for us to deal with. Oh well, let's go, see what happens. 
Ah, it's Li Ru of Dong Zhou's army. You must be tired, what can we do? Ally us. There we go. Hope I don't have to call them into war somehow. Okay, so our spears are going to die here. Uh, our swords, rather, because swords are garbage. Also, I can't move my camera here, which is annoying. Wait, what? What is going on? Can't see a damn thing. Alright, but they brought out pikes, which, as everybody knows, are worthless against the might of horses. And since Lubu is really good at attacking, you'll probably just slaughter them all. And we've got this new guy. He looks a bit rubbish, other than his extremely good intelligence. One of Wan Shu's men! Would you join us? Okay, he refuses. Well, I guess you're going to go into our prison, I guess. Because I don't know what else to do with you. Otherwise, well, as long as Wan's soldiers are out there, we can attack Wan, potentially take it. And we're going to have to deal a lot more casualties than that, though. I wonder how Wu Gate will hold up like that. Probably gonna need some backup. Difficult to go wrong with loads of money though. That whole confusion sending your armies back thing seems like such a pain, but with Kinman D. I could have sworn I sent you out with all those horses. I must have been wrong. Hmm. But we have a ton of. Uh, ton of bows there. Maybe I can summon somebody who's really good with bows. Someone like Zhuzhun. Maybe somebody that can actually hold a lot of people though. Hong Fu Shong? Get your ass over there. Gang won't stick around a place like this forever, you know. Well, no, I don't know. What do you even mean by that? And why can't I move between these? Okay. I don't even know what that other message was about. But I do know that we have all these spearmen sitting out there. I wouldn't be able to take one in a single blow like this. But maybe we can go and charge down and... Huh. That's more like it. We'll do a uh, an amazing strategy. Confusing. Make them return. I could set fire to them. Have multiple units attack together. Well, who's gonna who's gonna attack with us? Lubu can probably crush these guys, right? No way that he couldn't. He could probably duel them, though. Would they even take us on? Challenge the officer. If you're victorious, the will of your unit will go up and the will of the enemy will go down. It's also possible to take the defeated officer prisoner. Refusing a duel will result in a reduction of the unit's will and a number of troops. Well, let's try it out. Is there no one who will fight me? Not as easy as that. Okay, so they lose will and troops, we gain will. Seems uh, not very good for us. Relentlessly attack Wan, though. See how that works for them. 
Hmm. Hover assist, please don't make this the next patrician. I don't think we're going to see about 150 hours of this game. At least of all, because I have no clue what I'm doing here. Alright, can you get back out there with your mighty horses or... No, I was meant to get someone with bows. Hung Fu Watsits. Get out there and give them what's for. But you can always be backed up, I guess. By the... Uh, the mighty cavalry. I could probably set fire to them. They would not like that. talking. What better than have your enemies fight each other? Yeah, sure enough, spears are pretty good against horses, but our units are just really, really good. So what do we do? We should eliminate them whilst they're still out in the open. There's still quite a lot of them there. Got any awesome strategies you can use? Got decent will right there. Hmm, nothing seems worth our time right now. How does the annihilate work? Oh, that was not particularly annihilating. <laughs> Should I just set fire to them, though? Oh, wait, couldn't I surround uh, you now? It's probably horrible for them. Oh, yeah, that crushed their willpower, but it seems to have used up Lu Bu's turn as well. Meanwhile, whilst you could help, I really want one taken down. These sieges really feel like sieges here. She. Get moving. No, don't, don't go inside it. Well, actually, how does that work? Oh well, at least you can hold out there for a wee bit. You ever played Rise of Nations? No, I have not. Whoa, one of our lives got uh, confused there. A unit is apparently advancing on Guandu. But Guandu is here and completely undefended. I wonder if they're going to take a boat. Well, I mean, it's up to Shen Liu with that one officer who can't do anything to uh, defend it. And he's got 3,000 or so units. It'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, more spears. I'd love to keep assaulting one, but I should probably deal with these guys here. Maybe by setting fire to them? Oh, we failed. What? What? Okay, it just seems so useless. I should probably just keep peppering away at these guys whilst we surround and crush Jilin's uh, units. But only you can surround. Probably because you're the one behind them? Wait, you can't do anything right now. Because you were confused, of course. Well, just kill them. We have the high ground after all. Tch, almost no losses for us, of course.
Was it you that I sent out? I probably. Fires are really terrible. Maybe it's because of the time of year. What kind of strategy game is Rise of Nations, anyway? I'm assuming right there that is a strategy game. Seems a safe bet. Probably just surround you if I go around the back. What is this? What is this? What? No, not surround the. Oh, okay. wasn't aware that surround was something that could be used on uh, buildings, but what do I know? Age of Empire with more ages, okay. Uh, RTS and TBS, never... Never my alley, those. Okay, that should be the end of you, surely. Like in the explosions, I'll give it that. And this is going to mark the fall of one. I guess the benefit there is everybody gets to attack, but only one person gets counterattacked. If I had to guess, and I do. We can't overlook how much stronger Dong Zhou's army has become. In order to survive these troubled times, why don't we put aside our differences and fight together? Don't know who this Zhang Yang person is, but... Okay, but it treats it as a wipeout. Well, sucks to be them. Seems the enemy AIs have taken the opportunity to really build up their forces. Dong Zhou's army at Guandu has been attacked, but I didn't have an army at Guandu, so why worry about that? So yeah, I assume they did come by boat then. I don't think Chen Liu is going to hold out too well without reinforcements, but why worry about that? Because Wan is about to die. Can you wait and then have somebody else attack with a surround? We'll find out momentarily, I guess. How does this work then? Okay, no, the ones that moved and wait don't get to join in the surround attack. That seems very strange to me. And a great acquaintance named Quan Zhao. Okay, so another person who wants to... Oh, is it going to be another battle? No. <laughs> no. 
is this so stupid? Also, they're more intelligent than me. And it looks like they get four things to choose from. Fortunately, we've got Logic 2 from the start. And they have Logic 3. Crunch. Oh boy, Quan uh, Zhao is going to slaughter us here unless they get some good draws. Pulling that logic from. Okay, now he still has some, but now I've got logic three. This will bring you down slightly. Still in the logic phase, I've really got to shuffle my cards here. And I do not get a lot of cards. Thankfully, luck is always on my side. It's never not on my side. Oh, oh dear. Perhaps I cheesed him off too hard. And reduce his anger by settling a bit, which might be useful. Don't be angry. Uh, no, it looked like he already became. Ah, oh, he's invincible! Wow, okay. So even if I lay down my amazing time. Okay, so never let your enemy become furious, that's what I'm seeing here. In which case, there's no point even using my stuff. Because he beats through it with his furiousness. Okay, but he's no longer angry and I can lay down my amazing facts. Come on, just try to make me angry. He has no facts, only time, so I can lay a strong time card. And we can square off. Now I'm mad. Oh, I'm furious. <laughs> this is my fact. Arr! That's so bloody stupid. Away you go. Oh! The old dog's got some fight left in him. We're still in the fact phase, but he's got guile. Maybe I can ignore his guile. I don't know what it does. I think ignoring really boosts anger, though. Okay, I gotta finish him off. Oh no! There we go. Fall from grace. Alright, our precarious hilltop battle has won us the service of... Wait, who's that other guy called? Like, wanky or something? Alright, so the enemy's coming at us, but what do I care? Because Juan is gonna die. Wait, that didn't completely destroy the place? That's pretty incredible. I wonder what they do with Guan Du there. Take the damn place, will you? Prefect of Nan Ying and Late Han. Oh right, no, now we've got a bunch of officers that we can do stuff with. I mean, why don't we try to select everybody who says yes? Well, I just think Cao Cao used to uh, recruit loads of defeated officers. And it was a big part of why one would want to join Wei, because he's pretty much going to forgive you for what you've done before. But, unless there's anybody that I really recognize here as me wanting, and I certainly do not, I think they're all going to have to die.
Hyun Shu destroyed uh, before Yuan Shao. Hilarious. Okay, so that actually destroys everything that's been built. Remember when provinces used to do that? Ugh. Okay, I think we're going to call it there for uh, Romance of Three Kingdoms 11 because it's uh, not very good. Is that one way to put it? No. Interesting just seems so not genuine. But it's turn-based, it's slow, it's stupid, it's hex-based. I like the setting, but I'm a sucker for the Three Kingdoms. Nonetheless, we'll probably be back to it, because that's the kind of guy Shadow is. Teaming up with Bane to give me things they know that I probably won't like. It. But what I suspect I'll do is that we'll come back to this later with a different starting position. Probably somebody that doesn't have umpteen different cities to look after from the very start. Because it's kind of tedious to begin with having to look after all these different places. Probably. We'll see. That'll come at a later date, though. What I'm going to do is check the time. The time is not very late. So... So why don't we finish off that kindergarten game? That way we don't even have to bring the stream down. We can just, through the magic of this, save our game. Oh yeah, view Bay tutorial still there. The tutorial is amazing because it basically just takes a giant turd all over Liu Bei, the master. Uh, so what's this? Dongjo? No, not that. First try. I don't even know where these are saved to. Jake, you could also use the power up kit. Sounds like pay to win. So what are we gonna do with this? We can return to the title screen. Yes, indeed. How beautiful. And we're going to say goodbye RTK11. We're going to say... What are we going to say? 